Assalamu alaikum and a very pleasant day to all viewers. Welcome to our poster presentation for Asasi Biology Colloquium 2020 entitled Documentation of Insects in Kubah National Park. I am Muhammad Haris Dennis bin Makrina, the representative of the project research. My PBL H1E members are Dayan Nur Jasmine, Alfa Shahira, Emmanuel Joel, Pamela Edwin, Nurin Akila, Nur Akila Balkis, Ruhaiza Adiha, Steve Austin, and Jocelyn Junin. Thus, we are 10 members in a group. At the beginning of the presentation, I would like to start with the abstract. An overarching outdoor activity was carried out at Kubah National Park KNP along the Sam Trail to document the presence of the families of insects. Thus, the exploration in KNP observed three different types of insects, which are Autoricus sulcatus, Anistoptera species, and Impocasca flavia species. The keywords are Kuba National Park and insects. Next, the introduction of the documentation. Malaysia is one of the world's most attractive travel destinations, consisting of several tourism industries, especially in East Verbai in Sarawak, the Kuba National Park. Sarawak's most accessible national park covering an area of 2,000 230 hectares. It was established since 1989, which comes with many species of flora and fauna. The objective is to document insects that explain the morphological traits, nutritive exposure, and life cycle process. Osio ricus sulcatus, or no, best known as black wine weevils, are black grey or black snout beetles. One over three inches length with wings dotted and gold flecky. They feed on the outer edges of leaves of broad leaved evergreen plants such as Camellia rhododendron and Eonemus. Female black vine weevils reproduce by parthenogenesis with fertilization of eggs required to produce meals. During winter, the larvae can be found in the soil at the root area of plants. After becoming full grown, they pupate in the dirt and adult weevils begin to emerge. Then, they will then start egg hatching during midsummer, and eggless larvae feed on plant roots before cold weather temporarily prevents growth. Anisoptera or dragonfly is a large predatory insect. The thorax is twice or thrice the size of the head and the long slender abdomen consists of 10 segments. It also has two sets of wings. It has complicated neck muscles that can rotate their head at 180 degree, sideways 70 degree back, back and 40 degree down. Adult dragonflies prey on insects, especially mosquitoes, bees, and moths. Meanwhile, the immature dragonfly will consume aquatic insects such as tadpole and fish during their aquatic stage. The life cycle consists of egg, nymph, and adult stage. Male and female will meet and female deposing the eggs by emerging the nymph. Their nymph 
will undergo insta stages and shedding their exoskeleton. Then, adult dragonfly wait for its leg harden and wings unfurl, then dry out in the sun. The results and discussion is Impua Casca Fabia. It's known as potato leafhopper with wedge shaped bright green with white markings and wing, especially for adult leaf hoppers. While for the immature, it's pale green and it does not have any wings. The length for leaf hopper from head to wing tips is around 2.5 mm to 3.3 mm. Potato leaf hoppers eat a variety of plants such as eggplant, cucumber, and sweet potatoes. It will inject watery saliva that includes an enzyme that reduces plant photosynthetic movement while feeding. Female leaf hoppers can lay two or three small white eggs per day onto leaf vine or stems and about 200 eggs for its entire life. It took only 10 days for the eggs to hatch and enter the nymphatal stages. After 12 days, the nymph become an adult. Oseorichus sulcatus, Anisoptera species and Impua casca fabia species should be acknowledged by all generation to appreciate the study as it consists of the insect's biography, morphological traits, nutritive exposure, and life cycle process. That's all for PBL H1E entitled The Documentation of Insects in Kubah National Park, Sarawak. That's all from us. Thank you.